Hey boys and girls from Pre-Algebra, this is Mr. Giomini. I just graded most of your quizzes from the mid-chapter 6 quiz. Uh, I think the average score right now is an 89%, which is a high B+. Uh, they'll still have several people need to finish it, so that could definitely change, or that will probably change. Hopefully it'll go up. Anyways, I want to take a look at one question in particular that many of you missed. And I want to say it's because you didn't try drawing a picture. So if I take a look here, I, it says the problem says a merry-go-round that has a radius of 20 feet, has a duration per ride of 15 revolutions. How far does a person travel who rides on the merry-go-round? Okay, first thing I do, merry-go-round brings back memories. So I'm going to draw a nice circle. I can set on a horse uh, and go around in circles. Outstanding. So there's my merry-go-round, an aerial view. Now. I know that it has a radius of 20 feet. So, try to find a center point there. So, here's my radius. It has a radius of 20 feet. Okay. It has a duration per ride of 15 revolutions. So, if I start here on the merry go round, essentially a revolution is the same as circumference. One complete revolution is that I will start back now that's gonna occur 15 times how far does a person travel who rides on the merry-go-round well let's if I want to figure out what is one time around the circle I'm really just figuring out the circumference so circumference equals pi I'm gonna use 3.14 for pi now the formula is 2.14 times diameter but wait a minute I have the radius one of the mistakes that some of you made is you actually decided to square the radius to get the diameter. Remember, radius is just half of the diameter, or diameter, or I'm sorry, radius is just the diameter doubled, my fault. The diameter is half the radius. So if I know my radius is 20 feet, I just double that, not square it, to get my diameter, which is 40. Now I'm going to use a calculator here so to figure out this circumference. So the circumference, or one revolution around the circle, is 3 and 14 hundredths, or pi times 40, that's going to be equal to 125 and 6 tenths feet, because we're using feet in this problem. Okay, that is just for one revolution. I travel on the merry-go-round 15 times, so I'm going to take my one revolution, or what the circumference is, and I'm going to times that by 15. So 125 times 15 will give me 1,884 feet that I will have traveled if I sit on that mail ground, I start it here, it's this spot, and travel around 15 times or make 15 revolutions. Okay, hope that helps. A popular answer for this one was 900, and I believe it was 42, which my guess is you never then doubled the radius. You just simply took... 3, 3 and 14 hundredths or pi times 20, and then you knew that multiplied it by 15. So you had to take that one step further and actually figure out that this is only a radius. And remember, the formula for circumference is 3 and 14 hundredths times d. All right, take care. Bye.